Okay, today we're going to do the ranking of all three Stranger Things seasons. Worst to best. But don't get me wrong, I love all three seasons, so I don't hate any of them. Okay, so let's begin. This is going to be a really quick video. Okay. So, okay, before we start, get started, really, um, I only have these two. I only have season one and season two. I have season three on Netflix. Like, season three, like, just dropped a month ago. So, yeah. Okay, let's begin. Number three, Stranger Things season two. Now, don't get me wrong. I still love this season, but I just don't think it's good as season one and season three. Okay, let's talk about Billy, because he's one of my problems. Billy's a douchebag in this season. That's right. He's a better character in season three because you find out why he acts like how he does now. Like, you find out he's been abused by his father, and, like, that's why he's been a jerk to his sister. And my favorite scene in the entire season is the Billy versus Steve fight scene because, like, like, Billy, like, Steve takes the first hit, like, punches him in the face. I'm like, yes, yeah, Steve! Like, by the way, Steve's my favorite character. Okay, we're gonna talk about one thing that I thought was messed up, um... So when Dustin, he's like, so when he's done trick-or-treating with his friends, he finds a demo dog in his trash can and he keeps him as a pet and feeds him some of his candy. The next day he brings him to school to show his friends, but then it gets loose around the school, so now they have to try and find it. So Dustin finds it in the bathroom and he puts it under his hat, keep it, and hide it from his friends. So Lucas, Mike, and Will and Max are trying to find it still. They're like, but yeah. One day, a few days after, I believe, like, so like, Dustin comes home, tries to feed stuff to his de pet, demo dog, demo dog pet. It gets bigger, like, and they find out that it escaped his turtle thing and skin peel, and, and he finds the demo dog eating his cat, Moo Moo, which I thought was messed up. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe they killed, I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe they killed the cat. Like, I'm like, when we were about to go and escape, I'm like, oh my god, don't tell me Moomoo's gonna die. So yeah, that's what I thought was messed up, but they really killed the cat. Oh my god. So yeah, Stranger Things Season 2, 8 out of 10. Okay. Number 2, Stranger Things Season 3. Okay, now there's only one problem I have with this season, is just Billy's backstory. Well, no, it's just really his mother. Like, she runs away, but she doesn't run away with Billy. Like, why didn't she take her with him? Like, the, if I was... Billy's mother, I would have done that. I would have taken Billy with me, because if she took Billy, he wouldn't have a ha sad life. He wouldn't be a jerk. Like, he wouldn't end up like his father. He would have been a happy life. Because the last time he was happy, he was at a beach with his mother. So, yeah. That's my problem with the mother. Like, why didn't she just take his son, her son with him? So, yeah. Stranger Things Season 3. 9 out of 10. Okay, let's go to number 1. You all know this. Stranger Things Season 1. Come on. I have not a lot to say about, I haven't, I don't have a lot to say about this one. This one's just phenomenal. I think this one's a masterpiece. It's the first season, it's phenomenal. That's all I gotta say. 10 out of 10. That's it. So that's all the ranking. I know it's not that much to say, just, I don't really have any problems with this show. I think it's per perfect. So that's all I gotta say. Make sure you like, subscribe. Peace.